Hey everyone, it's Brenda here, and today for your viewing pleasure, I have my June favorites. Of course, I'm putting this up a little past June because I'm late sometimes, <laughs> but um, yeah, I can't believe it's June, even though everybody says that, but seriously, um, it's odd that it's actually June. And plus my mind is still on this like school year schedule, so I feel like I have to do so much in the summer, but I really kind of have like the rest of my life since I graduated, but <laughs> it's very odd. But um, back to my June favorites. Um, I don't really have that much to show you, just about five actual things, five or six actual things, and a couple of moments, because I like to put things that just aren't beauty and fashion related into my favorites, because I favorite things in a month that just aren't beauty and fashion related, if that makes sense. But anyways, Let's get started. So first, I have the Pink Armor Nail Gel. Looks like this. I think it's a As Seen on TV product. Um, I didn't actually buy it, so I'm not exactly sure how much it costs, but I can put it down below. Um, my mom bought it for me because my nails have been going through it. I had acrylic from January to like March because I wanted the stiletto almond shaped nail style. So I had that for a while, and then I took it off after my spring break in March. Um, but my, of course, I left my nails a mess. Like you can literally see where my nail is like growing back. It's like a separation. But they've actually gotten a little better. But this is supposed to help my nails grow. It just says, it doesn't actually say what's in it on the package. It's probably on the box. I threw the box away. But you're supposed to put it on and let, let it dry. I use it as a base coat and sometimes as a top coat over my nails. Today I just have it on by itself. And I feel like when I have it as a base coat and top coat, my nails don't chip as easily. Um, I can leave it on for a while. Even though it does say take it off after a week, I do change my nail polish pretty, pretty frequently anyway. But it doesn't really chip if I do leave it on longer than a week. And I'm not sure if it's actually helping my nails grow. Even though, because it has been, when I say I take them off and like... March, April-ish, so it's been a couple of months, so they are growing back pretty quickly, but it's been a favorite of mine because it's keeping my nail polish on when I do have actual nail polish on. It doesn't chip as easily, like I said, and I just like it. So pink almond nail gel. Then next, I have a lipstick, but I'm not talking about it as a lipstick. Um, this is the Rimmel Kate in number 109. Um, it's an orange lipstick, which I've had for a while, but I've seen, I wanted orange concealer. That's why I'm talking about this. I wanted orange concealer, and I haven't bought any yet, but I've been using the lipstick as orange concealer. I didn't try it today because I'm, I've been being a little lazy. I didn't feel like putting on a lot of makeup. So, um, but this is what I've been using it for this in the month of June. This is really weird. That's really weird to say. In the month of June, this is what I was using it for. Um, just putting it under my eyes and then putting it on either my foundation or my concealer or whatever I want to put on top at the moment. And then blending it in and it covers the dark circles up and all that good stuff. So you can use any orange lipstick or actual orange concealer. I've seen people use eyeshadow before, orange eyeshadow before just to cover up the dark circles for um, darker skin tones. So... I like this one. This one works for me. This is the Rimmel Kate in color 109. Also this month I've been using the Aracasia Pure Essential Oils. Um, they have different kinds of the oils, but this one is the Rejuvenating Apricot Kernel Oil. Um, it's a natural skin skincare oil with vitamin E. Um, what I've been using this for is to take off my makeup at night. Um, or whenever I feel like taking off my makeup. So, I just rub it all over my face, like a good two or three squirts or so, rub it all over my face. It takes off waterproof mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, everything, and it's just a natural way to take off your makeup. And um, either I've been trying to use my makeup remover wipes up, so I just either put this all on my face and then um, take my makeup remover wipe and then wipe it off, or I can just take a, like a regular face towel whatever, run it in some water, and then do that also. And then I usually um, rinse off my face, either with warm water, cold water, and then I'm good to go. And do the regular skincare stuff. So I've been using that for that, and I really do like it. Um, I was actually looking for 
almond oil when I first um, decided to start taking off my makeup with oil. Even though I do oil cleanse, which I'll talk about some other time, but I do oil cleanse right like every day. I don't usually, I don't use regular face wash on my face anymore. I do oil cleanse, but um, this is just a different way. Instead of using the actual oil cleanser that I use, just to use a regular oil. I'll talk about that some other time. But the rejuvenating apricot kernel by Aracost. And then next, what I have is a highlighter by Wet n Wild. This is the Furry line. This is in Rose Champagne Glow. I think it's Rose Champagne Glow. It's just a really pretty highlight. Um, it's by Wet n Wild, so it was about five something or six around six dollars but you get a lot for what it was and it's just a really pretty pink color show it highlight um yeah i've just been using that to highlight i actually i don't know why i didn't use it today but um i like it overall it just makes me just on the bridge of my nose or on my cheekbones and just really pretty Especially for the summertime, you want that glow. So I, I was thinking about going to get the golder, like the golder, is that a word? Um, the gold one by Wet n Wild, the Fergie line. So I might go back and get that, maybe. So now for the non beauty favorites, I'm gonna go into, I guess, fashion favorite now. Um, so last time in my May favorites, I had a pair of shoes, and June favorites, I also have a pair of shoes too. I'm not planning this. This is kind of just what happened. I actually wanted to do, wanted to do a favorite outfit of the month or favorite outfits of the month, but I just didn't get to film it yet. So maybe for next month, stay tuned for that. But for now, I do have some shoes to show you. Um, these I got from Zara and I don't wear them all the time because I'm just not walking around wearing heels all the time. But when I have gone out, these are the shoes I wore because, wore because <laughs> I'm in the process of still like I said before, like still moving from my school apartment back home. And I have a lot of stuff still left at school. So I don't have all my shoes with me. But these are the ones that I bought from Zara. Um, I'm not going to talk about how much I paid for them because they're actually on sale now. If you go to Zara, cause I don't know if they're still their sale is still going on, but they're on sale now at Zara for like, I want to say 50 I want to say 50 But... These are the shoes. Aren't they so cute? Y'all can't tell me this pink color is cute. So, <laughs> yes, it's like a powder pink heel. It's not, I'm not even gonna lie, they're not the most comfortable to walk in. These are not like walking shoes that you can just like, oh, I can walk miles in these heels. And no, it's not that. Um, but they, you, they'll last you for a little while. Um, you probably can put like a sole or something down here. I don't know which part hurts the most. Probably down here, like in this, but. The heel is chunkier, so they're kind of easy to walk in, but they're pointy toe, have a little Mary Jane type of strap going on, but they're just so cute, and they, I just saw them, I can't remember where I saw them first. I feel like I saw them online first, but then I went in the store and I searched for them, and you can use the Zara app to see if they have them at a store near you. Didn't know that until I bought these, and my friend told me to download the app so I can check to see if they had them in, my, in the store near me, in my size, and I did. They're just great, but they're cute, and I love them. So, yes, these girls, my favorites. The next non-beauty, non-fashion, actually, favorite is a food favorite. I love snacks and food, although I am trying to be healthier. I've been slacking, I'm not even going to lie. The food favorite is, don't mind this big bag, and also do not mind my hair meant to say that. Do not mind my hair. It looks a little crazy. I'm trying to do this whole transitioning, going into natural thing. And I'm trying to see if it works. So don't judge my hair. But anyways, uh, my not, my food favorite is white cheddar popcorn. <laughs> I've been eating so much white cheddar popcorn. That's probably why my, my mom bought this big bag of white cheddar popcorn. I love it because it reseals. But this is the... She, every time I swear she buys a different one. Like we have just been eating random different kinds of white cheddar popcorn, but I love it. They're all good to me. This is the um, Popcorn Indiana. Um, it says it has nothing artificial in it, but 
this is the one I've been eating currently because the bag is huge and I just love white cheddar popcorn. Um, I also been eating Skinny Pop, which is technically not white cheddar popcorn, but close enough. But Skinny Pop is also the healthier version. Oh. Yeah. Next, I have my moment favorites. That's what I'm gonna talk, call it. Moment favorite. Favorite moment. Sure. Favorite moment. So. Um, I've been doing a lot of traveling since I graduated, not like overseas or anything, but like traveling within the country. I've been to Maryland, New York a couple of times, Florida a couple of times. Um, but so yeah, I've been doing a lot of traveling. Last weekend, I got to go to California, which is my first time going to California. I, went, I was in Los Angeles and I went for the BET Awards weekend, but didn't go to the awards. My internship which is with the Teen Diaries organization and their sister organization, Pretty Girl Sweat. That's why I have the water bottle in my hand. Pretty Girl Sweat um, had an event with the BET Experience on Sunday, June 29th. So what Pretty Girl Sweat is an organization fighting against childhood obesity, encouraging um, young girls, women, to work out, stay fit, stay healthy. So we have monthly fitness events um and the BT experience one was one of our June monthly fitness event and it was just amazing it was the greatest event we've had it was like the biggest event we've had it was just amazing we had Angela Simmons there um hosting along with Jeanette Jenkins who's a celebrity trainer um and Jasmine Villegas who's a singer um it was just great uh Deborah Lee stopped by who's the CEO of BT it was just amazing i had the best time i'm the teen reporter for the website teen diaries which is a sister website to pretty girl sweat um but yeah you can check out the website i'll leave all the links below so you can get the info on it or if you want to buy a water bottle or a t-shirt um bags anything like that so you can get more information or find out when the net next sweat event is um you can check it out but it was just a great experience i'm so glad i got to go um, given the opportunity just feel blessed to be around anything like that any great people doing great things and I just feel great to be a part of it great 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 <laughs> my next uh what I call it favorite event favorite moment favorite moment of June uh, my other one was which is technically not in June because it was July 1st but I'm just going to include it in there because I'm still on a high from it was the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert girl let me tell you amazing like that's how it was that's why I had the best week of my life I got to go to LA and then I came back to Boston and I got to go to a concert best concert ever ever I try to insert pictures from things from the event from the concert um, and also how I style my shoes because I've been when I wear them when I went out. But um, yeah, greatness. If I don't get to insert the pictures or I forget or I'm having editing errors, just check out my Instagram because I post everything on there <laughs> and I have pictures from the concert, from the event, and how I wear my shoes. So um, yeah, but the concert amazing. Like I went to go see Mrs. Carter in Mrs. Carter World Tour in December and way better like way way better plus i think that beyonce was a little fed up doing that concert because i mean she was on tour for like a year and a half and then the beyonce cd came out and then she wasn't even doing those songs but this one just greatness it was just like and i had my, my seats were good i was on the floor like can we take a moment but anyways so i think that is all my favorites of june Excuse my rambling, excuse my hair, I jump around from thing to thing sometimes and I get a little happy and excited and sometimes I can't remember what I'm supposed to say or how I'm going to say it, but yes, <laughs> um, that's what, like I said, that was my June favorite. Like I said just before, check out my Instagram for pictures from everything that I've talked about, um, Twitter, I'll leave those links below, at its brands, um, and Thanks for watching. Love ya.